Good morning, students. I am Anmol Sir. Today I am going to teach Class Seven English Literature, Chapter Five, The Ramana Cafe. So, are you all interested? Means, do you have interest, hobbies in anything? I mean to say, for some students are. Interested in painting, some students are uh, interested in sports, games, and some students are interested in insects. Some are interested in butterfly. Then some students are interested in encyclopedia of animals. They want to know more about animals. Some students are interested to uh, interested in plants, trees. If you are interested, then it's a very good thing because. You are learning more and more things through that. You can do many types of research for that 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 particular thing in which you are interested. So through that you can learn more and more things, more and more knowledge you get through research. So my second question: Do you know any person who has done something great? I mean to say. That do you know any of your friend or relative or anyone else who has done some great works in their life? For example, Newton. He did discovery of he did uh, discovery of gravity. He discovered gravity. Then other great people are there who did great great works. For example, our great mathematician. Einstein. Then it comes Newton, and there are many great people in our history which you will go through. So if you read their biography and life history, you will learn many things through that, and you will get a desire to do something great in your life. So if you know this type of people, then you should make them as your idol person. You should follow their footsteps. And you should have a desire to do something great in future like them. So in this lesson also we are going to know about a particular person whose name is Raman. He has done many great things in his life. So through this lesson also you will get a good desire. A desire will come in your heart to do great things. In your life, we can also call him C. V. Raman. So, his full name was Chandrasekhar Vikunta Raman. He was born in Tamil Nadu in 1988. He completed his graduation from Chennai Presidency College. And he got a gold medal in physics. He was too interested in physics, and later he started. He continued his MA in physics. So his life was very good because he was interested in physics in his lifetime. He his habit was observed. He was a boy who was curious and observant. He used to observe each and every thing. Whichever he sees, whichever he thinks that that particular thing is unique, and I should know about that particular thing. So he did many things in his life. So once he was traveling through ship, and in his leisure hours, he just sat on the ship, means the terrace of the ship, and he was enjoying the view. The view was very beautiful for him, so he was enjoying the view of the ocean, seas. Very beautiful sunshine was there. He was enjoying that his leisure. So through his uh, through this journey, something struck in his mind that he can see the sea, and the scenery was very beautiful for him. And he observed that the color of the water. In the sea is blue, deep blue, light blue. Means it, it was looking very fabulous and outstanding for him. But uh, 
he was thinking that whenever we drink water, the water is colorless, it's transparent. We uh, cannot enjoy our view by drinking water. Whenever we see water, it's a normal thing for us. So why I am enjoying just by seeing water, the same water is in the sea. Why the color of the water becomes blue and it is becoming so beautiful? Normally, whenever I drink water in a glass, it's transparent, it's colorless, it is not so beautiful. Why it is looking beautiful? The same particular water. What is the difference between my glass of water and the water is in the sea? What is the difference? No difference are there. So, this thing was totally unique for him and he did some research for this particular thing. He wanted to know that why that same water color changes in the sea, lake, river, pond. So, he did research and through his research, he did discovery of spectrum of light. And he did this big, this outstanding discovery. He was also known, he was also known grand old man of Indian science. He was too much attracted of, he was too much attracted to sound and light. He did many good things in his life. He journaled science and encouraged young scientists to know more about science. He made many institutes for research and because of him, science became too much popular in India. It became too popular in India. So, because of his good deeds, he was awarded. He awarded. He got many Nobel Prizes and Bharat Ratna Awards. He got his first Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. In his college days also, he got a gold medal in Physics. He also got Bharat Ratna Award in 1954. He was knighted in 1929. In his honor, we celebrate 28 February as a National Science Day in our country. Later, Raman passed away on 21st November 1970. So, throughout his life journey, he did many a things, he learned many a things and he was also awarded for those particular things. So students, we have learned many other things in this chapter and we so students, now we are going to vocabulary because we have completed this chapter and there are many new words which you all should know. So let's start. Curiosity Strong desire, cools, continue, genius, expectation of intellectual, intuition, instinct, leisure, free time, plunge, chum, lengthy, long, nitrate, given title, T to taller. Non drinker, journal, book. Pursue, continue. Curiosity, strong design. So, for example, pursue means he was doing his graduation. So, it is written he pursued his graduation from that particular college. Curiosity, a strong design. You, if you will have a curiosity in here, then only you. A strong desire will come in your heart that you can do great things in your life. Leisure means free time in his leisure hour only he was observing the sea. Plunge means jump. For example, he plunged in his work. That doesn't mean that he really jumped inside his, inside that particular work. Means he started his work quickly. So 
like this there are many words means this all these words are in your chapter only so that's why you should know this particular words so students thank you for this particular lesson i'm going to give question answers and other objectives and let's meet you all in our next class thank you